And welcome back to another part of this fond farewell to PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, the game that started my YouTube channel. Playing through the story mode with every character, we are now on Toro, just because those of you who are just joining me, I'm starting with characters I'm not good with, moving on to characters I'm slightly good with, to characters I'm best with. And Toro falls under the category of not good with. We're gonna use this gentleman outfit. Just because it's cute. And it's a pre-order bonus. That I got for free. Haha! <laughs> Hero. Because, like I said, not good with Toro whatsoever. Oh god, we have to read the subtitles because they just meow all the time. Ah, uh, Toro and Koro? Is that, is that the other one's name? Uh, the only thing I remember these guys from is uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Which is hilarious that they were in the game. Like, I know Xbox fans, when it came to Street Fighter Cross Tekken, they got what you say the uh, pure game, as I say quotations, pure version. But in my opinion, when it's a fighting game, and it has more characters, it slightly makes it better, even though four of those characters are joke characters. Looking at you, Pac-Man, Mega Man, Toro, and Koro. And on a technicality, Cole is kind of weak in that game, but still, you can't use him in arcade mode, though. Yep, see, look at da Dante got cut off there. And it's not Purple Pants Dante, this Dante sucks. Yep, needs to be purple pants. I don't know how to use Toro. That's why I'm using him now. Oh, wait a minute. Bread and butter right there, right? Sweep and sweep. 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 Toro's hilarious. Though, he's he's cute. Why am I sleeping? No! Get out of here. There we go. Wait, wait. Did I change? There we go. Yeah, I got... Yeah, there we go. The bicycle kick. Um, Yeah, that's the problem with Toro. He's a uh, stance character stance changing and uh it's not that it's a bad thing it's just that he's very advanced and uh some people might not like that and i like the fact that each stance is a reference to fighting games like this one is definitely a reference to um more like more than likely um street fighter with the windmill kick there dive kicks there's the shoryuken um, his ninja one, of course, Mortal Kombat. You got the Sub Zero slide, the get, whoops, the tra to teleport there, the get over here, and uh, yeah, well, we're gonna get, we're gonna get. Oh wow, wow, that's wow. Okay, we'll use level three. Why not? Yeah, Chef Toro. Woo, awesome. It's cute, and it's funny that um, Toro. Got kind of butchered too when it comes to his supers. Cause um, let me think here. Toro, Spike. That's really about it, really. I think it's Toro and Spike. When it comes to supers, they got screwed simply because Toro and Spike, their supers, I believe, are the only two characters that can only get a maximum of three kills with all their supers, really. Because uh, you got the screen cleaner, and then you got that level two, which is good, and then the level one, which isn't that great, but still, you get up to those amount of kills. But some characters level twos and level threes get more kills than others, such as Kratos and Parappa's level two, you know. It's it's really kind of unbalanced. Kind of a shame too. Oh, this is why. Remember how I said Toro and uh, Sackboy are the only ones that should be able to teabag? Because look at Toro. Look at this. That's adorable. <laughs> That's actual teabagging right there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Suck on that. Damn it. I've seen some amazing Toro gameplay too with uh, his changing stances. I can't for the life of me. I should have done him first because I can't use him for the life of me. But hey. Whew, disappeared, reappeared. Sushi hair. Yeah, look at the dance! Haha! 
Oh yeah, Toro. Um, reason why I have that victory animation because uh, that's my favorite one out of his. All of his other other all of his other victory animations kind of suck. That intro animation, I think. Which one did I give him? Was it the Macarena? Uh, that one's his best intro animation too. Which, if there is something Smash can borrow from this game, is to have multiple intro animations. Not just one, okay? Like, customizable intro animations. Slip right in. Slip right in. That one's a cool intro. Hey, Big Daddy. Um, because, uh, Smash, I'd say, yeah, you can have more, um, what do you call there? Uh, damn it, what was I going to say? Oh more outros but you already have enough outros with smash and you can kind of choose them too well you could in melee and brawl i'm not sure if you can do it in uh, the wii u smash for you huh. why are you guys taunting get the hell out of there he said you idiots silly silly computer man i haven't used toro's level two yet we're gonna use toro's level two I think there's another character that can only get a maximum number of three kills with each super. Which, uh, Toro's level two kind of sucks, is it? Okay, it... Yeah, it's... Um, it's best used when... I can't say it sucks, okay? It, it's funny because it's a giant shooting star. It's cute. Um, it's best used when... If you're in a free-for-all... Where nobody is paying attention to you. Because, um... You gotta do it too. Mo mostly use it against characters that have other characters in combos. Such as Kratos. If you are out of a combo and Kratos is over there, or Dante is over there, or Nariko is over there. Beating the hell out of a character with a combo. You just throw this out. Time it just right. You know... You get the kills. Time for plan B. It's funny. I say it sucks, but I just got four kills with it. It doesn't suck. I take that back. I take that remark back. Like I said, it's best used in these kind of fights. And it actually has a wide hitbox. Like, it, it is actually pretty good. This is a Kuma stance, right? Yeah. Because you got the dive kick like a Kuma. The little spin cycle there. The hurricane kick and the uh, little... I don't know what the hell this is he throws. What is that? I don't know. I don't know. Where the hell's... Oh, there's Sly. So long, Squishies! Oh, nefarious. You and your silly Daggett voice. No, I don't think that's Daggett, actually, is it? No. No, that's, um... Again, it might be Dag... No. I know, uh... What's his face? Is Daggett. Um... Professor Chaos from the Skylander series. All I hear is Daggett when the... Some of you will say Invader Sim, but all I hear is Daggett. I, gr I, I grew up more with uh, the Angry Beavers than I did with Invader Sim. I'm gonna stay over here. Got Oh, wow, big... Da <laughs> Sly got you, big daddy. Yeah, woo! Not only that, his music goes so well with his little dance here. Ah, that's cute. Nothing more I can really say about Toro. He deserves to be in the game because he's basically like, I think, the Japanese mascot of Sony. So it makes sense for him to be here. Cole sticks out like a freaking sore thumb there. This dark, gritty looking character, and you got the little princess and Ratchet, although he kind of has this mean face. He's still kind of cartoony. Well, he still is cartoony. Ratchet should never have a mean face or stern face like that for a portrait. Ratchet should always be smiling because Ratchet looks ten times better when he smiles. When he's... or when he has that DreamWorks smile face. Like, that, that doesn't look good. Ratchet can't be mean. He's... He's just too- oh my god, I just realized Fat Princess's jiggle effects. Dear god. She's the only female, I think, in the game that has them. The only female. Makes sense, because you're fat and 
fat jiggles, you know. But it's the only one in which a certain area jiggles. Damn it, she knocked me out of it. And I said, I can't use Toro for the life of me. Um, that's why I'm using him now, to get him out of the way for this fond farewell, which I hope you've been enjoying this. Granted, this is only the fourth video in the series out of 24. <laughs> and, uh, I haven't decided if I will be uploading these back to back to back to back, which I probably won't, so, basically, I get a feeling that this series will take about half a month, a month and a half to finish. Oh, look at that, I got all three. Nice. If it because I will probably have another series uploading with it. I don't know which series it will be, though. It might be Sonic Adventure 2. That might be ongoing right now, though. Damn it, I didn't know I had that. I knew I had an item. I wasn't sure what it was, though. Or it might be another game that I haven't decided yet what to do. What the hell do I have? I have a level 1. Wow, that combo doesn't work all the time. Okay, it was Ratchet that had it. Let's use this. Sub-Zero slide. Oops, Cybot teleport type thing. Hilarious. It's a nice little feature they did. With Toro there. Mr. Zircon laugh. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, another level two. Yeah, oh, dear God, I just got punched in the face. Damn it, Cole. Stop it. I just shoved him. Okay, please. Uh, I don't know what character will be next, by the way, so don't ask. Like, I'm doing this on the fly as I go. I chose Toro next because, hey, I saw him. I'm not good with him. Thought I'd get him out of the way now. Come on, Ratchet. Come over here. Thank you. Ooh, got all three. Nice. All right, Cole, get down here. Don't you dare stay up there, you bastard. Damn, I missed. I missed. Where, where the hell am I? Woo, got two kills. Nice. You know, I know this would be a lot hyper if it was on a, uh, or more hyped moments if it was online or if, uh, it's on a higher difficulty. But like I said, I will use, I will go to a higher difficulty when I get to characters I am decent with. Like I said, I will probably be doing it on the hardest difficulty with Ratchet, because Ratchet's my best character, and Ratchet will be last, as I've mentioned in the Isaac Clarke video. So, those of you expecting Ratchet soon, Ratchet is going to be last. Jack will probably be second to last, because Jack is my second best character, if I remember how to use them, because I haven't played this game in so long. Are we on kill count yet? No, we're still on time. God damn it! After this, though, we're on kill count. Yes, Sony, if you're listening, if you're listening, 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 get rid of all timed matches during arcade mode if you ever do a sequel. Granted, you want us to play all kind of your modes. You got time, you got kill count, and stock. That's great. Do it like Smash Brothers, okay? For Christ's sakes, you want to be different, that's fine. Sometimes you just got to copy the competition, all right? Have us choose what to play through as. Stock, kill count, or timed. When this this way just takes way too long. Way too long. Granted, this is the uh, online way, though, with uh, the time limit and all that. You know who I haven't seen in a while? You know what? I lost my train of thought. I grabbed a bazooka. My train of thought went nowhere. And I am now shooting the hell out of these characters coming at me. One of which is a third party character. Does, uh, does Nariko count as a third party character? Did they ever make a Heavenly Sword too? Did they ever give trophies to the first Heavenly Sword like they did with Metal Gear? No, they didn't. Huh. I don't think they did. Um, you know what? I think I mentioned I would talk about stages in this game. Or in this video, in the last video. Yeah, I'll talk about future stages I'd like to see. Um, granted, yeah, keep the mashup idea. That's cool. But um, I think if you're going to have a character represent the series, they should have a stage as well. 
Like, Ratchet has this stage, but it's mixed with God of War, which makes sense. You know, because you got Ratchet still, he's representing the Ratchet and Clank series. I should say you have Ratchet and Clank. You have Sandover Village, and you got Jack and Dexter in the game, which is good. Um, Toro doesn't have a stage that I know of. Toro has no stage. Oh, whew, I thought I was dead. Oh no, I grabbed that item, that uh, the shield item, and it protected me from dying. Nice. Yeah, Toro doesn't have a stage. So, when it comes to future stages, I remember Toro users would do that all the time online. Dive kick, down smash there. Dive kick, smash, dive kick, smash. Woohoo, nice try, Raiden. But you're gonna have to do better than that. But, um, yeah, I think they should, they should all do that. Um, I like the fact that some characters don't fit in the game, so they get a stage representation, such as, um, Pat upon, whatever the hell that thing is called. Ooh, wow, that was close. Suck on this. Whew. Apparently the star only has to hit, not the explosion. Old Devil's Pot of Tea. Old Devil's Pot of Tea Mulan. But yeah, also Kratos has Hades in this, okay? Kratos has Hades. So basically Kratos gets two stage representations in this game. Hydra Breath. You know, when I first saw the Hydra eat freaking Captain Quark and uh, <laughs> the trailers, I was like, oh my god. But then I see him open the mouth and get out. So I'm like, okay, thank god. So I was like, that's a little brutal. It just comes out of nowhere and eats Captain Quark. But uh, I, I like the uh, when they leave, when Quark actually waves at you and says, that a boy, or something like that. I know Sir Daniel got a stage, but that was DLC. Got mixed with that their swan stage. Speaking of Kratos, look at that beard. Like, Kind of looks like Leonidas, but I know it's not supposed to be based off of that. Wasn't Leonidas DLC for a God of War game? Yeah, he was DLC for uh, that God of War Ascension thing, right? You could play as Leonidas in that or something like that? Or you can play with Leonidas' weapons and armor. That's, uh, creepy. <laughs> uh, we got all these goofy looking characters. And then Kratos. Oh boy. I don't know what to do. We're on Little Big Planet. This stage is huge. This stage is really annoying online. Especially for, um... When something like that happens, when you got Kratos on one end beating the hell out of one of the characters that are not so good in this game, and you got another character on the other end, two people who are just beating the hell out of each other, but yet Sir Daniel was able to uh, get a level one before Kratos. And Kratos knocked me out of my damn super! Not today! Oh. Okay. You gotta be careful. Sir Daniel Franowski Satoski for, for, for I will learn how to say his last name before I get to him before I do his video I should say now then oh dear now uh, who's another character or what's another thing I could talk about oh stages I would like to see um that's a tough one. Oh no! Oh phew. Oh man, I thought Kratos was about to get some easy kills there. The Medusa head, oh. That was a free uh, item, right? Yeah. Gorgon's head, I'm sorry. Shut up, Kratos. You need to shut your mouth for once, alright? Stages I would like to see. Um. I would like to see. Yeah, victory. A stage. That, that's tough. That is really tough. Because you got Parappa's Dojo, which is one of my favorite stages. Of course, the Ratchet and Clank stage is one of my favorites in this. 
I like Sandover Village, even though it kind of sucks. I only like Black Rock Stadium when the game doesn't crash afterwards. I hate Nathan Drake stage. No, Nathan Drake stage is actually really good in this. Or it's cool when it's got that mix of Bioshock Infinite. Kind of lame. Because it's like, hey, Bioshock Infinite and Uncharted, they have so much in common, right? No. No. Speak of the devil. Then not only that, Bioshock Infinite has a mashup with Twisted Metal. They have so much in common, don't they? Well, before this game came out, well, before Bioshock Infinite came out, no. It didn't. We didn't know anything about Bioshock Infinite when this game came out. Except that Bioshock Infinite was coming. Soon. We did not know anything. Now then, what was I, what was I talking about? Stages I'd like to see? Um... There was one mashup somebody mentioned that I thought would have been really cool. Um, although I do like the uh, cartoony, realistic style mashups with um, Resistance and the Ratchet and Clank series. And then uh, the Twisted Metal with Jack and Dexter with the Crimson Heads. That was quick. That's what I like. Quick and easy. Okay? More of that, Sony. More of that if you make a sequel. Probably not going to happen, though. But hey, more of that. We're on the rival screen, aren't we? Yeah, please, for the love of God, load. Don't crash on me. I went through so long. These things take a half hour to complete, as it is. Thank you. Oh, the little squeaky noise. Alright, hey, Hachi. Ah, hey, Hachi. And you know, it makes sense, too, that they f fight hey, Hachi, because in the world of Tekken, Everybody understands everybody. Everybody understands Japanese, everybody understands French, everybody understands raptor roars, bear growls. Everybody understands them. Everybody talks. It's great. <laughs> yes, this was. Oh god. Diaper Heihachi. I think this was the uh, first game to actually show younger Heihachi before Tekken Tag Tournament 2 came out. Oh god. Ugh. Uh, why don't I talk about taunts in this game? Heihachi has the best taunt. Hands down. Best the taunt. The one that he laughs the best. Nothing competes with it. Cole's little uh, juggling routine. Kind of cool. Um, like I said, I like Sackboy's little jumpity jump thing. Ratchet, Ratchet. I only like Ratchet's prepared to be uh, Rex, Wrench Taunt. I don't like his uh, seen any good hollow films lately. That one's lame. What else does he have? I kind of wish the Gold Bolt one was a taunt. I would use that one a lot, but uh, that's only an in intro and. In my opinion, the best Ratchet intro is, uh, Clank, we got some work to do. Um, I wish that one that Jack has when he's just standing still, and him and Dexter do the, uh, little dance and high five, I wish that was a taunt instead of a hidden fighting stance. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up. I won't be able to show it in this video because they take forever to throw that out. Um... Who else has a fun taunt? Parappa's breakdancing taunt is kind of nice. I like uh, Parappa's cash money, son, taunt. I don't like his microphone one. That microphone one is kind of stupid. Um, Radix, find the target. It's kind of neat. What else does Jack have for taunts? Oh, it's nothing. He just points at them and says, you're going down, and Dexter does something different each taunt. Like, uh, Dexter, that's right, we're bad, or he does this karate pose. Who else has a fun taunt to use? Uh, I said Sackboy already. I don't remember most of the taunts in this game. I, uh, like I said, I like Cole's juggle taunt, but I also like Evil Cole's feel that power baby taunt. Uh, Isaac Clark's finger, foam finger, is great. 
Uh, something about Kratos screaming, I am the god of war is great. Well, it's not great. It's, it's okay. Um, the one that Sly Cooper points at you with his cane, I think that he has one like that. Uh, something he says like, can't see me or something like that? I, consider this a role game. I don't know, I, I know I like one of Sly Cooper's taunts a lot. Ready? Fat Princess, how you doing? Alright, come on, fight me! Wow, Fat Princess with the evil eyes there. Ooh, it's kind of creepy looking. I am supreme. Well, guess what? Fat. Pr oh, I'll take that. I'll take that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you're dead. Another. Another. Dear God, where the hell am I? Oh, I'm up here. Beat the hell out of his head. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. You are invincible, huh? Sweet Tooth. How you doing, buddy? Doesn't Sweet Tooth have a taunt in which he laughs? No, he doesn't. I forget Sweet Tooth's taunts. I know, it's funny, I'm talking about taunts, but this game has so much to offer. Very underrated game, because, you know, nobody gave it a chance because, hey, there's a Smash Brothers clone, but it plays nothing like Smash Brothers. The only thing it has in common is that it's a brawler, like Smash, and it has a bunch of mascots. But hey, God forbid, you know, a uh, company like Cartoon Network does it, or, you know, company like the Ninja Turtles do it, or a group like the Ninja Turtles do it, and they add in frickin' rabbits. I mean, Kung Fu Panda does it. Star Wars did it with uh, the Force Unleashed for the Wii. There's a mode in which you can play Smash Brothers style Star Wars. Yeah, everybody gets all mad because Sony decided to try their like, way and get into the mascot brawler, as I like to call them. But seeing as Nintendo's, like I said, this this was kind of dead in the water from the get-go. Sony's iconic, but Nintendo is legendary. Can I? Does that make sense? Sony has recognizable characters, but Nintendo has the more recognizable characters. That's why Smash Brothers does so well because if you look at every Smash Brothers game they always have I believe three characters on the cover that's always gonna make them sell those characters being Mario Link and Pikachu because a lot of people know even non gamers know who most of those three characters are especially Mario but with Sony this game has Kratos on the cover, which they, some people might know. Sackboy, which some people might know. Sly Cooper, Raiden, Ratchet, Nathan Drake, Big Daddy, and Fat Princess all on the cover. On the front cover, that is. On the back cover, I think it has every other character. But, um, yeah. That's why I think the game didn't really sell well. But hey, it sold expectations for Sony. Yeah, on the back it has everybody else, kind of. Not counting the DLC characters, or um, it's missing somebody. I can't tell right now, though. The most iconic characters across the PlayStation universe. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that's right. We, we can't understand any damn thing they're saying. But um, if I was the person that made the cover for this game, Characters I would have put on the front cover, of course, Ratchet, keep Ratchet, Kratos, and Sly. I would have put Jack and Dexter on there, Parappa the Rapper. I would have kept Nathan Drake, took off Fat Princess and Big Daddy, and replaced them with, uh, say, Cole. That's who it's missing. It's missing Evil Cole. It doesn't have Evil Cole anywhere on the case. I would have put Cole in there. I would have taken off Raiden as well. And I would probably have put Heihachi on the front, because Heihachi is recognizable to most fighting game fanatics. Why the hell am I talking about the covers of this game? I don't know why. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this part of my fond farewell to PlayStation All-Stars with Toro. Four down. Twenty to go. We are nowhere near done yet. <laughs> My name is Clinker Roth. I thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more. Who's the next character? I haven't decided yet. You'll have to wait and see. 
Thanks for watching.